Okay, you guys already saw my um, taco seasoning in the other part of the video, but let me tell you how I make mine, just what's in it. I do one tablespoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes or cayenne, whichever you choose, a quarter teaspoon of oregano, a, a half a teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, a teaspoon of salt, and then you can put a teaspoon of pepper in it. That's optional. Um, I put jalapeno pepper in mine, not black pepper. And you're just going to mix them all together. Now, if you're not a cumin fan, you know, you may want to take the amount of that one down. If you're used to it, you should be fine with it. But um, then you're just going to mix that up and store it in an airtight container. And like I said in the first part of this, of the other video that will be coming out, um, that will equal one store-bought package of taco seasoning. Now for the homemade Jiffy cornbread mix, what I have in this, in this bowl, and I made this yesterday, is two-thirds cup of flour, a half a cup of yellow cornmeal, a quarter cup of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. And this, you can make up pre-makeup, and this will keep in the fridge. You know, just put a lid on it, and it will keep in the fridge for several, several weeks. Just the dry mix part like this. And the lumps are from the coconut oil. Okay, and all we're going to simply do to this is we're going to add in one egg and then a third a cup of milk plus one to two tablespoons more because remember like when you use Jiffy it is it is a, a stiffer batter so that's all we're gonna do there so let me get these in egg first <laughs> get that busted there we go and then I have a third plus a couple tablespoons of milk so we'll just reserve that to the side you don't want to see I'm such a mess you don't want to overbeat this but you do want to get it moistened together and then um, if you want to use this to make muffins you're simply gonna grease your muffin tins this should make about six and then you would be baking them off at, boy, I can hardly remember this stuff, um, 375 for about 11 to 14 minutes. And that would work for your muffins. This, however, we're not using in that capacity, and I think we are going to need the extra couple tablespoons and I think I'm going to switch to a spatula because this is not fun see I'm just a disaster mess over here some things never change but anyway yeah don't over mix it but do do get the the liquids worked into it and it is a stiff dough, as you can see. I happen to like the sugar that's in the Jiffy. Um, if you don't, of course, cut it down. But this dish that I'm making is going to be pretty spicy. And that's all there is to this homemade muffin mix. So my timer's about to go off on, on the main thing I'm making over here. So... This one will be titled Homemade Jiffy Cornbread Mix. And the other one will be following this. Have a good day. God bless.